First in our news, the Supreme Court voting 13-0 removed the legal obstacle to the assumption of President-elect Bongbong Marcos Jr. as the country's 17th chief executive after it dismissed the petition filed by martial law human rights victims seeking to disqualify him for the post due to his conviction in the July 1995 for failure to file income tax returns and pay income taxes from 82 to 85. Now, Supreme Court Public Information Office, or PO, and spokesman Brian Keith Hosaka in a statement said the decision was reached at Tuesday's regular and bank session of the magistrates. It also came two days before Marcus Jr.'s inauguration on Thursday, June 30, at the National Museum grounds. The decision was also issued on the same day the court confirmed that the Chief, exec that the Chief Justice Alexander Gizmundo had agreed to administer the oath of office of the newly elected president. Earlier, Marcus, through his lawyer Estelito Mendoza, sought the dismissal of the petition on the grounds of lack of jurisdiction to hear the case. Marcus argued it is only the Presidential Electoral Tribunal, or PET, which may inquire into his eligibility. Marcus also explained that since the proclamation of the winning presidential and vice candidates is over, only the Supreme Court, sitting as the PET, is the sole judge of all contests relating to the qualifications of a president. He also said the petition must also be dismissed for lack of merit since he didn't commit any material misrepresentation in his COC, contrary to the claims of the petitioners that would warrant his disqualification from seeking the presidency. Marcus also insisted that he is not disqualified to run for the presidency and that he has no intention to mislead, misinform, and deceive the electorate. The petition filed by uh, uh, Christian Buenafe, Fides Lim, Maria Edelisa Hernandez, Celia Lagman Sevilla, and Roland Vibal and Josephine Lascano sought to set aside a January 17, 2022 and May 10, 2022 resolutions of the COMELEC, which dismissed for lack of merit, the petition they filed against Marcus Jr. for the denial or cancellation of his certificate of candidacy for the position of president and denying their motion for partial reconsideration, respectively. A similar petition filed by martial law survivors led by Saturo Campo and Bonifacio Ilagan, which was consolidated with a Buena Fe et al. petition, was also dismissed. Both petitions were dismissed by the court.